and we're going. Right, um, yes I look like I've just been dragged through a hedge backwards because I, because it's pouring with rain here and in less than 12 hours I won't be here, I will be flying to Portugal with my good lady to soak up some sun, TJ will be going on his holidays and um, and I will, so oh, not this weekend but the weekend after before you probably see anything from me again. Um, thank God you say. Uh, right, uh, what's been going on? What's happening? Well, let's start with this. What did I do with it? Where is it? Um, did I? Uh, <laughs> did I give it, I gave it away? No, I did. I gave one of them away. Uh, what did I do with the other one? Anyway, uh, I'll put a video in here. There's going to be like a, a, a three minute video. I'm sorry about the quality, but I posted it on Facebook. But I'll put that in here right now. Number 342 in my series of reviews that will never be proper reviews. This just arrived today. This is the Bi Turbo Make uh, from Tesla. I haven't seen it in the UK or a price for it in the UK. I've seen it on some Chinese sites for uh, about $45, $50 and that kind of thing. Uh, right, this comes in a box that has a starter kit written on it. Uh, um, basically, it looks like this. It's got, and if I can get the, no, I can't get it off. There we go. Two 18650s. Uh, this is works in series, uh, so it's putting out 8.4 volts. Uh, you have two buttons on the bottom, and basically you push the buttons, boink, and that tells you I'm having both RDAs are going to fire now, or I can switch one on, or switch the other one off, or you know you can or switch them both off. So there's all the protection under the sun built into this thing. Uh, but I just want to point out once again, you can fire them independently or both together. Now, top cap comes like that, so that sits on them and you vape out the one nozzle. Now, series. This is in series, so I got, using the coils that came with it, each RDA came out to 0 0.4, 8.4 volts, uh, going to each, watch this. That's, that's right, okay, uh, and we'll pop this on, and I will have a vape. <sighs> so, so, um, yeah, you can mix your flavours and uh, all that jazz and it's funky, it's very cool. I wouldn't give one to my worst enemy. I think it's you to, to give... Oh, I hate this. That I despise this. I, I Maybe if I wasn't using the supplied coils and I was just to put in... Who, who put starter kit on this? Who? Seriously, that's... That's fucking insane. That really is. Um, this kind of makes me angry on so many levels. Yes, I, as I said, I know I can put different builds in it and so on, but that's the build that comes with it. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Uh, you'll not see a review on this from me. Um, I am beyond angry on this one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Now, um, yeah, that was a rant, um, and I sent an e two emails to Tesla e six, uh, Tesla six or whatever the hell they're called, and um, I posted on the Facebook page, uh, and I've heard nothing back from them on anything. Um, listen, I don't have an issue with um, series mods, not at all. I've, I've got two up there that I use. Um, You've got things like the noisy cricket. There's there's series mods out there. First off, that that's not a mech. 
It's not a mech. It says it's a mech. That's that's wrong. Then it says it's a starter kit. It's not. That's wrong. But the information they give you and the tolerances and how you can vape with it and so on. The fact there's no information to say that this is. You know, this is a series. You know, if you vape like this, this is going to happen. Um, and 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 it's wrong on so many many levels. Um, in the right hands with the right people. That's fine. If you want to vape like that, I could vape like that, no problem at all. I would just have to change the build. But the fact that now this is a you know this is going to be sold from vape shop B and M online. Um, you know, there's nothing there to state that what happens when you you saw in the video when I used the coils that came with it, what it vaped like. And like I say, I don't have an issue with people vaping like that if they choose to. Uh, I may not agree with it, but if they want to vape like that, that's entirely up to them. They're all over 18 and, and grown up adults. But um, for somebody that doesn't know what series means, uh, doesn't know what's going to happen when you put two atties on a series mod. Chris, I don't even know what will happen, but I just know it's insane. Um, yeah, shouldn't happen. Just shouldn't happen. And, and Tesla need to step up to the plate and sort that out pretty damn quickly uh, and yeah I'll not say any more than that because I know yeah no I don't want to, yeah I know Dean's talking to them and I know he's got his own line of conversation going with them and and he'll share that with you and his through his channels that's his content to share not mine um, uh, for other stuff right for other stuff that's enough of the doom and gloom um, fun stuff. Um, well, I'll work my way left to right as I always do. Um, now there was a, a charity raffle on um, UKS, UK Squonkers, and um, <laughs> anyway, I ended up buying something, and uh, just because it was for charity, and I thought, oh, that looks quite smart. Um, it's this. This is it's a little squonk, uh, 3D printed. It's the Lunar. Now, I think these only cost 60 quid in, or 60 pounds in the UK and this has been hydro dipped um, and do you know I'm going it, it, to, you know it's, I think it's really smart with the hydro dip uh, it just works it just it just works I, I have no I don't have one issue with the way this is performing That's tremendous. I mean, that's the Narda where on it with a, uh, a Vixet UFO cap, and and it's great. I think it's really really cool. Um, I'm not normally into that kind of thing, you know, but I, I just think it's really smart. Once again, it was hydro dipped. Um, okay, so there was that, um, and I apologise. Right now, I should go off and find it the guy on UK Squonkers that put that up for a charity auction. That was a hell of a decent thing to do. Um, yes. I've forgotten your name. It starts with an M. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I, I put, ah, I really want for, no, moving on. Moving on. Um, now, um, many, many moons ago, I'm talking back in 2013, January 2013, I reviewed uh, um, a, a beautiful little wooden box mod, and I reviewed a Kamut. Oh, somebody will pipe up here and tell me. Uh, I forgot the name. Kamuzi, uh, Kamaz, Kamut. Some vape company. Um, <laughs> exit stage left. Like. Um, the so. Imagine my surprise that I reviewed it. was the first squonkers that ever came across all these years ago. And uh, and lo and behold, uh, KM Mods. KM Mods. Um, I've probably got that wrong as well. I saw a Facebook group and, and he got in touch and, and he's on the go again. And I'll put a photo in here. Now this will probably upset a lot of people because people are, you know, we all like different things. And I'm a huge Alien fan. Uh, the original film, Aliens, are two of the 
standout films I've ever seen. Um, the original one is just... Blah. Um, but he's done, um, he's doing some 3D printed mods just now. He's going to do um, stab wood ones. Um, my brain's not working tonight. Stab wood ones coming down the line. Um, but the photos that you'll see up here are here. Um, basically, he did a special limited run of eight mods uh, 3D printed. And in the battery tray uh, is the name. There's eight members of the crew, including Jonesy the cat, uh, on the Nostromo, which was the spaceship from Alien. So, um, and you know, the chest, the, the face hugger and the, the way it's bursting out of the, the hole for the squonk. Um, I loved everything about that. Um, I think, was it Mark Skate and Russell? I think they sent me images. Uh, they sent me images of it and then I ended up in the group. The first people to X1 got to buy it, um, I think it was about 160, 70 euros if I remember right, and I got in position 6, I think it was. Um, so I've, I've got one coming, I'm so chuffed about it. I know not everybody's going to love it, not everybody's, but I, I've, sorry, I don't really give a shit, because it's for me, and that, that's all that matters, is whether or not I like it. So that's coming. Um, moving round. Is there anything else? I'll come back to it. Uh, I'll tell you what. I have been uh, vaping with the, the Cosmonaut. I don't think I'd had it set up before. Um, and I've actually got it in a mech there just now, which I probably... Should. I've still got the squonk pin in it, because I'm an idiot. Uh, but this actually... I used to work in a vape shop and, and sell these and I was never impressed with them. They just didn't do it for me. I looked at the deck and I went, nah, nah, won't hold much juice, pile of shit, and, um, and dismissed it out of hand. Um, I've got one and I've got the squonk block in it and as a squonker it makes total sense uh, having that little shallow deck. It works. And I'm getting great flavour out of it. I'm, I'm actually, I, I take back everything I ever thought about the Cosmonaut. I'm actually enjoying it. And the ones I used in the past, I had, or sold in the past, I always found the O-ring to be a little bit in the weak side at the bottom. Uh, I didn't hold the top cap on that great. But this updated version, no issues at all. Um, Quite impressed. I, I do like that when you know you've got an, an opinion in your head, and, and sometimes you just have to admit when you're wrong. And when you're as wrong as often as I am, then you just get used to it. Like not putting a battery in the mod. Is there a battery in this? I'm pushing the button here, and nothing's happening. Bear with me. Um, talk amongst yourselves. Uh, turn that down. That goes down. The battery contact goes up. There we go. Tune in next week for more helpful tints and tips on how to vape. That's quite nice. That is nice. Right, moving round. Um, here, there's a thing. Do you want to know what I'm... <laughs> I've got so many laddie da mods. So many. Um, and I show off laddie da shit all the time, and I, sh I think I show off a fair mix of stuff, to be honest. Nobody seems to agree with me on that, but I do. Um, guess what I'm taking on holiday with me? Two MPV4s and two Scion tanks. <laughs> Out of all the stuff I've got, going away for a week, and that's what I take with me. Because, one, uh, I don't like taking stuff on a plane or abroad that if I lost, it would break my heart. Uh, and two, I want to take something with good battery life. I don't have to charge 18650s. And it's dependable. And I can get a half-decent vape out of it. And that works for me. The MPV4. Plus, it's a power bank. I can charge my phone. And, and it just gives me a good vape. Just shows you, yeah? Um, right. Still moving, oh, moving round. Uh, here's the this week's cup of tea. 
Oh God, good cup of tea. Oh, sorry, you haven't seen that. This is uh, the penguin. Now, I'll not be reviewing this um, because it reviews, there's so many reviews out. I know vaping with V1CK has done one and all the rest of it. But here we go with my start your clock, um, however long this takes, review. Hopefully no longer than two minutes. And don't time it, because I know somebody there is going to go back and time it and say, well, you spent three minutes doing that. Anyway, right, here we go. 2000 milliamp hour. It's made by Joytech. This was sent on to me by TECC in the UK, the electronic cigarette company. Thank you very much. Um, so, it's uh, 2000 milliamp hour. It's a uh, charge via there. Uh, you've got lights going there. It comes with a 0 0.2 ohm coil, that could be wrong, and a 0 0.6 ohm coil. Uh, the way it works is you've got this little ridge section here. You push that that comes out. This is your container. Uh, when you buy this in the UK it will only hold 2ml of juice. However, get a pair of long nosed pliers. Don't know what I've done with the box. You'll see uh, an insert, a silicon insert in there. Stick your long nosed pliers in, pull the bugger out and you've got 8.8ml .8 of juice capacity in there. Uh, the coils are just like that on the bottom. You stick your nail in there pull and out it comes and you fill through there and 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 that's it now I have got from the 0 0.6 ohm coil I got through a full tank 8.8 .8 mils with one charge I was impressed with that I thought that was very good to get a full day I got a full day full juice consumption the lot out of this and I, I was quite impressed with that uh, it says the 0 0.6 is a mouth to lung coil Listen, that is not mouth to lung. It's not. Um, it's not. That's a 0 0.2 coil, I should point out. Right, so that's that. I'm going to say it takes at least 3 or 4 mil through the coil before it breaks in. I'm also going to say, and credit for this point goes to Dean, um, Dean the Vaping Biker, because he mentioned it this afternoon. I'm finding, I found with my first coil, that after just over a tank, uh, it started to taste burnt. I took the coil out, checked it, and it, it was a mess, actually. It was a mess. And I left this for half an hour, I primed this for half an hour before I started using it, and it was never run dry. reason that I think it is, is... I don't know with the way that it wicks in this, you have to take a good draw on this to get it to wick properly. If not, it just, I think it's pretty poor. So, just now... I'm taking quite a forceful draw on that and the flavour's great. Before Dean even mentioned it in conversation, I, I was talking away to him and I was saying it just tastes burnt all the time. It's because I was taking a just a normal draw. You have to really pull on it. Um, but I like this. I do like this. Um, but it does take a while for the flavour to come through. And I'm sorry, but you don't get that sticker on it when you buy it. Oh, gammon steak. Ah, there we go. More tea. More tea vicar. What's that from? Does anybody know? Um, right, moving around. Um, Okay, I am going to say this again, I'm going to say this again, and I know I mention it every week, and I know I get his name wrong every week, uh, Michael Cope, Coop. I just like saying it now, because I just like to upset people. Um, but uh, as soon as I get back from holiday, I am going to go and source another mech um, to go with my tank as well, because I've got the tank and I've got the dripper now, and I absolutely door his gear. Um, it's It just suits my vaping style. Now a strange one, um, don't laugh at my coils. Now the way that uh, I've seen the videos with this was built was the coils were actually um, horizontal across the terminal screws there 
and I just didn't like building like that. I thought it was kind of fussy. So I've done two vertical coils and it's performing really well. And it's a lot easier for me to build like that because it's just like the old origin days. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's going to be my next treat to myself um, is, is buying another one of these mechs. Um, absolutely love them, love them. Um, now, now then, now then, um, a review went up for this, the Resurrection RDA. If you haven't received the review, the uh, short and sweet version is, I love this, this so far this year, this is my favourite dripper, hands down. Uh, I'm really sorry I didn't vape during the review, there's a reason for that. Um, <laughs> the guy sent me, the Phoenix guy sent me the dripper and said, can you do a review? Once you put the review out, we'll launch the product. And I said, well, yeah, no problem. But, uh, you know, there's a chance. I could say it's shit. I could say it's got all this stuff wrong with it. What are you going to do? They'll just go for it anyway. So uh, I did the review and when I do my usual, mm, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and vaping away, I was seeing things like, well, it's... <laughs> It's not coming with a 510 drip tip adapter, so that's a negative. I had to cut that bit out. I had to go back after I'd uploaded the video, re-edit it, take that bit out, because they then told me that, you know, they were going to supply a 510 drip tip adapter down the line. It will be available for sale. Um, originally there wasn't going to be Allen keys with it. That was another time I was sitting. And another negative, there'll be no Allen keys. So the guy saw the video and went, is this, you know, should we? And I said, well, yes, at that price point. So they said, okay, we're now going to include Allen keys. We'll go off, buy them, include them. So I had to edit that bit. So that's why you don't see me vaping in the video is because I had to cut those bits out. Um, and <laughs> just, I'm putting that in because some ball bag uh, commented on the video saying, however long it was, 11 minutes of a review and you don't vape in the device once. I didn't realise that watching me vaping was a measure of... How, what does that tell you when you're watching a review, me vaping? I don't know. Anyway, there's another thing. I'm off on a, a little tangent. Um, if you go, I, I don't mind on Facebook. Facebook, say what you like, I get the piss taken out of me all the time. Um, and, and that's good crack because I give it you kind of tend to know the people that are giving you shit and that's good banter it's good banter um, but on YouTube it's kind of faceless you know they think they can say what they like I just have a strict policy on, on um, YouTube if you're going to be critical about the review or the device do it in an intelligent manner and I'll, I'll engage, I'll, I'll say if I agree with you, disagree with you, or whatever. You say what you like, as long as you put it well, I'll leave that comment up. If you just spout some shite out, uh, like Bill, Billy No Mates masturbating in his bedroom, in his mum's house, uh, I'll just delete the comment and block you. That's how I deal with YouTube now. Um, so, if you feel strongly about something, put it across properly, and, you know, it'll stay there. Because I'm miserable and old and now, uh, but I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Keek! Uh, right, next, excuse me, I'm aware that I turned round to look the other way, I really apologise for that. I'll lean back. Um, I think that's uh, amongst the... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, wait a minute. Here we go, right. Um, this is... <laughs> I will do quick looks at these things when I come back. This is the, I think I got this wrong, I said this was a 200 watt version. This is the DNA 250 version of the Avatar RS 250 watt, okay? Um, as I said, I, I just, I cannot get the, the battery cap closed properly in this thing. There's always got a wobble on it. This thing looks, the colour scheme is absolutely hideous, there's no two ways about it. But it's a good mod. It's a good mod. Um, I, I'm not going to take that away from it. It works well. 
um, and I've not got any complaints. I like the form factor, it's a big bruiser. I think it's a 1500 milliamp hour lipo in this thing. Um, but I just... This, this might sound wrong, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, it says in the description, designed by a famous uh, Italian designer, or he came up with the, the colour scheme and all that. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. I mean, it's it's no Bella Bella, but it's, um, it's fucking hideous. Uh, but uh, as a mod, if you can get a rap for this, then yeah, I definitely, I, I, I really like it. And this one I like with all the fancy lights on it and whatnot, but I just, it's, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's strange, I like, I think I said this after the expo or something like that, that there's different markets, different places in the world for different people, you know, for different cultures like different things that, say, we in the UK may not, or, or I may not like, but you might like, you know, everybody's different. Um... They might sell really, really well in Italy in that colour scheme, but um, over here it's everybody's, you know, won't somebody think of the children? Uh, um, pardon me. So, there's that. Uh, I don't think I've got much else. Um, this, and once again I'm going to say it, uh, Shally MFG Manufacturing, uh, the, Parala the Parallax. This is bloody awesome. Um, it's just big old bruiser, 1800 milliamp hour. It's waterproof. I love it, and I am so happy I got this because I would, in a lineup of mods, I would walk past this. I would. I wouldn't give this a second look. I'd go, <laughs> that's hideous. Um, but using it, living with it, and vaping with it. It's really, really good. I've kind of really grown to enjoy using this. Uh, I've got... Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, this, yeah, I've got the that still to review. The the colour, that'll be coming up soon. Um, listen, this is this is tiny. This this is actually quite small for a 26650 DNA 75 colour. Uh, it's... It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, it does feel a little bit toy-like. The materials on it. You know, it feels a bit like a Tonka toy type thing. Which is no bad thing. Durable. But, um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite pretty. The only thing is that you have to remember that this bit up here, up the top, this one doesn't come with a beauty ring. Uh, which I think the last H cigar did come with. Um, I mean, this is about 30, oh jeez, it's about 33, 34 millimetres across the top there. So if I put uh, a 22 mil, <laughs> God, it's lost. <laughs> so there, there's a 22 mil atty on the top there. It, it just looks lost. Um, so... I don't know, 25mm and all that looks fine, uh, and a 30mm goes on it, you know, but, um, you know, there we go, just like, you know, um, and other than that, that's it, uh, did I get any, uh, did I do anything else this week, trending, no, subscript, no, not subscriptions, right, what did I watch, um, I watched, uh, <laughs> I watched, I watched several things. Uh, Dean, the vaping biker, has gone absolutely batshit crazy doing reviews because he's been, he's not been doing any, but he's, by God, he's rattled them off. Uh, so I've watched all his. Uh, I watched uh, Vaping V1CK do the Watofo Serpent. Um, da, 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 that's it. Oh, Morgantium. I mean, did I mention him already? Did I? Uh, it's good to see him back putting a couple of reviews out. Uh, I watched his. And... Bloody hell, my feed's nothing... Uh, there we go. No, that's... 
That's all I've got. That's all I've watched. Um, I, did I do videos? I did videos as well. Uh, usually just a quick recap on stuff that I've done. Stuff that I've done. That just that's so lazy. Um, right. Um, resurrection I've talked about. Now the vape droid. Um, uh, I think it's uh, it's grown on me. It's really grown on me. Um, I'm I'm just yeah. I love it. I absolutely love this thing. I really do. Um, the Sub Zero X competition mod in RDA. Um, one of the nicest switches on a competition competition mech that I've ever come across. I really enjoyed that mech. That me that's a nice mech mod. That is. Um, also, the the RDA did surprise me. Um, I got better flavour out of that than I thought I was going to. Uh, I really did. Uh, the Lost Vape Therian and Paranormal. Um, oh! Thank you to Rob uh, and his dog. Uh, his dog. Um, oh, God, okay, is it Steam Island? Yes, Steam Island over in the Isle of Wight. Um, he had one of these as well, but he was like me. He had one that had two different panels. So we did a swap. Uh, I swap. I gave him, sent him my carbon fibre one, and he sent me his other wood one. So now I have a matchy matchy paranormal. And I really like this a lot. Um, this is uh, uh, I, yeah. Do you know if if. I'm just saying if, um, if this was stainless steel as well, if this was all stainless steel instead of the stuff that you normally get from China and whatnot, um, that this this would be perfect in my books, really would be. Um, so that's that there. Um, how am I getting on with the EH Pro, uh, the the Wasp, the Bumblebee, the Note, the Fusion? Um, <laughs> that's right. Um, he, <laughs> here's me under the impression that yeah, we're going to give you the one of the prototypes to take away and play with, and uh, we'll send you out a production one. Well, it turns out that everybody and their dogs got one over in the states just now, so that was a load of shite that they told me. Um, I'm still really enjoying using it. Uh, still really enjoying using it. Um, oh, it's not two separate boards. I was wrong. I picked them up wrong at Expo. Uh, I picked them up completely wrong. Did they send me... Uh, they, yeah, they sent me a file explaining it. And I've I've lost the file. I've lost... Arse. What did I do? Ah, anyway, it's not two separate boards. Uh, you've got... It looks like there's two separate boards, but there's not. There's just the one board, but the, it, you've got basically two five... Excuse me. Well, what's the easiest way to put it? Yeah. You've got two coils, but you have separate control over each coil. There we go. That'll do. Um, that's it. Uh, what, what else has been going on? Drama. Drama. Intrigue. Mystery. Murder. And oh Bosch. I'm almost at the end of the first season of Bosch. And it's just it's really, really picked up. Um What am I doing? Oh I'm gonna watch uh Mr. Robot. That's I've downloaded Mr. Robot the first season. I watched the first two episodes and kinda fell out of love with it. But um I need something to watch in the airport and get me in the plane and all that, so I'm going to watch Mr. the first season of Mr. Robot while I'm away. Um see how I get on with that. Um, oh, watch the um, space. No, that's not what it's called at all. No, is it? <laughs> Barry Norman, eat your heart out. That's all I can say. And n none of you will know who Barry Norman is. Um, no, it wasn't sp was it space. No, what? What's the recent space film with the monster? Uh, they're in the International Space Station. Kind of, ah, 
Somebody tell me. Um, who's in it? I know who's in it. I know who's in it. Hang on. Um, eh? No, go away. I'm in the wrong... <laughs> it's just... What a car crash. It really is. You, you just watched an old man. Oh, Preacher. There's a new season of Preacher coming, which I can't wait for. Uh, Ryan Reynolds was in this space film. There's people watching this going, it was this. Um, no, it's not Dear Devil. Ryan Reynolds, you... No, 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 dead life. Oh, you muppet. Um, <laughs> I in fear enjoyed life. It was a space horror. It's nothing you haven't seen before, but it was, it passed an hour and 45 minutes and there was a couple of good bits in it. Um, it wasn't shit. It was pretty average, to be honest. Um, and why have I turned into reviewing? <laughs> TV shows and whatnot. Oh God, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm just in. I'm in lockdown, holiday mode and whatnot. Listen, uh, I am away. I am. I'm. Please leave me alone in Facebook. Leave me alone in YouTube comments. Leave me alone in emails. Just I'm away for a week. So um, have fun and be good. Don't get into trouble. And uh, I'll speak to you when I get back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got to go. I've got to go. Um, uh, I'm going. Right. See you next week, guys. Bye now.